Waist trainers, waist slimming tool of awesomeness or buyer beware. It's kind of cheesy and I realize how cheesy that is, but anyway, okay. Um, so it depends on what you're trying to do with it. Uh, if you're trying to lose weight, this will not help you lose weight. If you're trying to literally reshape your physique, that's very dangerous. If you're using it because um, you are postpartum and maybe you have something called diastasis recti, which is a separation of the abdominal muscles, most doctors don't actually recommend waist trainers after pregnancy, but there are a few cases where they might suggest it, um, in particular during exercise, after giving birth. Um, there are some cultures that recommend it. Uh, if somebody wants to wear it while they are exercising because it allows them to be more mindful or cognizant of keeping their belly button drawn in and their booty tucked under and their core engaged during their exercises, it can be helpful that way. So sometimes I think of it almost like a trainer there cueing you, right? Like draw your belly button in, keep your core engaged. Whereas we can easily kind of let our tush tilt out and get that little pelvic tilt there and let the pooch kind of go. And what we want not kind of is to stay engaged while we're training. So if a waist trainer is utilized during exercise to provide mindfulness about engaging your core, then there's a benefit there or a potential upside there. And if a doctor recommends it postpartum, which as I said, generally they don't, but if they do because of a diastasis recti during exercise in particular, and that's also a good opportunity to use one. Um, it will not help you lose weight. So maybe you've seen uh, advertisements talking about losing inches. Um, that is because you're, you're just sweating. That, that's it. Uh, it's, it's literally sweating you. So it might take down a little bit of water retention, but all you're gonna do is drink water and the water weight will come back on. If you wanna lose excess water weight, I've talked about this before, eat less salt, eat less processed carbohydrates, drink more water. That's how you lose excess water weight is by drinking more water. The more you drink, the less the body will hold on to, right? Um, now, what's really scary about the waist trainers is that women are using them to literally reshape their torso. Um, back in the day, women were, I don't know if they're still doing this, to be honest, it was a trend to remove the lower rib uh, to give you that more hourglass shape. And now there's a trend of buying these kind of lace up corsets and wearing them for a couple hours and then working your way up to six and eight hours over the course of a day. And this has a lot of potential downsides. Um, first of all, think of your core. Uh, I want you to think of it in two ways, right? So first you're thinking about the muscles, um, in your core, everything from your transverse, ah, transverse abdominis, I'm not even getting all the technical names, your pelvic floor, your core, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and then you gotta think about the, the organs in this area of your body, your lower intestine, your liver, all the stuff, kidneys, everything that's going on in this part of your body when you're squishing it, your diaphragm, all of this stuff, right? You're, you're not allowing yourself to breathe properly because your diaphragm can't expand properly. Remember those fainting couch couches from like the 1800s because women couldn't they couldn't breathe because they had those crazy corsets on they can't get a full breath of air um it can cause gas constipation and over time a lot of real problems you've got your ribs sticking into your liver right everything's compressed and squished that's bad so uh if you're trying to spot reduce fat or you're trying to reshape your body of course, it is not the way forward. It will not accomplish any of those things. And it has a lot of potential dangerous side effects. And in addition, uh, I've just learned that it's a new, um, it's a new trend to uh, try to control hunger. Cause it's like, if I, if I bind my, my torso, will it inhibit me from eating more? Um, but this can get, this can get real dangerous. Like I've given tips over the years of like, wear, you know, wear tight jeans so that at dinner you'll recognize you're feeling full. This is not about not eating though, or you know, this could lend itself to an eating disorder. This is, this is dangerous stuff. So if you're using it for these reasons, these are all reasons to avoid it. And if you're think to, you're prone to any of them, 
forget it, skip it. And if you want to go lift heavy, get a weightlifting belt. That's much safer and will provide you with the support that you want if you're lifting heavy. And don't use it postpartum unless recommended by your doctor. Okay, team, don't forget, I created this channel just for you guys. So click like, subscribe, and let me know what you want to hear more about. If it's diet, fitness, wellness, mindfulness, I'm here for you. So give me your feedback.